let me start re recording so imagine for drs testing i have a cluster with three hosts and a couple of vms that are running on each host that is what we tested in the previous example what what we tested in the last session last few sessions we tested what we tested in the last few sessions guys yeah Jay. okay now in okay so in in, your, in our previous sessions we tested ha right so now tell me based on the previous discussions just tell me what all the prerequisites for ha some prerequisites for HA. I've explained you before we start the HA discussion. Hmm? Think of it. We center. Okay. Bit louder, please. Your voice is not audible. Need we center. Yes. Uh, cluster. It is a cluster uh, level. Yeah, you need to create a cluster. What else? We need a shared storage. Shared storage. What else we need? Proper network configuration. Yeah. Perfect. These are the prerequisites if you want to run high availability within your VMware environment within your cluster not a, not an not on not on entire vcenter within a cluster this will work agree okay now very simply i'll put drs conditions drs is another feature just like ha drs will also help your customers to achieve something what is the something we'll do it in uh, next few minutes but let's understand if DRS, if you want your DRS or your customer environment is configured DRS, if you want the DRS to be functioned perfectly or correctly without any issues, so DRS also require few prerequisites, right? What are those prerequisites? All all HA rules, HA prerequisites. That is first thing. Second thing, second thing, vMotion must be enabled at kernel port level. Any questions on this? What all the feature? Oh, sorry. What all the prerequisites that we discussed during the HA? Come on, those four, right? Hello. Yes. Okay. We need all the four rules here as well. There's no exception. You need a vCenter. You need a cluster. You need a uh, shared storage. You need uh, proper networking and all everything is needed plus if you want to enable drs if you want to enable drs okay you would require a vmotion must be enabled on each host kernel port okay what drs will do first of all in your in your understanding what it will do can you tell me unmute yourself both Hello. Hello. Yeah. What DRS will do? It's a simple question. Okay, leave it. What HA will do? We already learned, right? Yeah. It helps uh, uh, in uh, getting the redundancy. Getting the redundancy? How you maintain the redundancy? Like. Uh, Higher, it uh, maintain the high availability of the VM. 
so uh, basically backup we can say so tell me tell me tell me in a layman uh, layman don't go too much technical just tell me in layman what exactly it will do that's it keep, it keeps our environment up and running all the time all the time or okay now my question is is there any downtime in your environment even if ha is configured Host are down, then uh, there are downtime for some, like the machine, the VM will get restart. So, hundred percent downtime, yeah. right? If HA yeah. is in the picture, okay, HA will not eliminate any downtime. Downtime will be there, but that will be minimum. High availability means I will try as much as I can. Agree? Agree on the on that concept? Okay, yeah. when it comes to DRS, when it comes to DRS, imagine one scenario. This host is there, no? This is ninety percent full. Ninety percent full in the sense CPU RAM, and this host is there, no? This is eight percent full, and this host is there, no? It is sixteen percent full. Do you think your environment is healthy and running, uh, running? Uh, uh performance wise or the capacity wise it's running uh, healthy no okay so with the drs what you can do what you can do you can move these vms these vms from one host to another host from one host to another host without any downtime okay in HA also, VMs will move from one host to another host, but they will move only when the host is dead. Otherwise, they won't move. Agree or disagree? Yes. In HA, VMs will move here and there. Okay, but that movement is just when the host is dead. Otherwise, they don't they don't trigger any movement in HA. Okay. In other words, in technically you call it as in HA, there is no V motion. In, in HA, yes, I mean, interview question, people will confuse you. Okay, uh, v, where you will run the V motion during HA or during v, DRS or in both? Where you will run the V motion blindly, DRS. say DRS or manual. DRS. Manual V motion is possible, and DRS will run a V motion in the back end as a mechanism. Okay, but in HA, no V motion. Please note it down. V motion means moving live virtual machine from one host to another host. As simple as that. Hmm? Understood? Or any confusion? Okay. So if I want to, if I want to move one VM to one, one VM from one host to another host. How it will work, we'll, we'll, we'll explain in Lehman. Okay, that's a different story. But let's understand few things. One one prerequisite is all HA rules are applicable here. All sorry, all all HA prerequisites are applicable here. Plus additional V motion kernel port is mandatory. Okay, let me go and log in to the cluster. login Inaccessible? What happened? Stores? 
is storage sand storage is gone sand storage is gone again okay let me go to configure everyday problem man Where why is this happening it's not the real time storage so we have to adjust with the lag let me reboot this there's no other reason right it's not the real time system okay you, you'll see in your production systems 370 days 450 days they never reboot but every day I will I will power off everything and every day I'll power on everything so if, if ESXA host got powered on early and the storage server is not powered on those connections will not be established even if you refresh sometimes the service will not work so the only option is reboot last time last time is also happened right in one of the session yes okay so let it reboot meanwhile we'll understand the theoretical part okay so we need vmotion must be enabled on each kernel port each kernel port kernel port remember so you'll have a kernel port switch and you will have distributed switch okay proper network means this and additionally kernel port must be enabled with with vmotion that is additional requirement for drs to work Yes. but do we use the same kernel port can we create additional kernel port on each host or not yes we can create okay yes. now imagine now imagine you have you have 1 gb network and 10 gb network both 1 gb normal ethernet 10 gb copper network that i have explained in the storage and network classes you understand okay so there are two different cables here 10 gb ones each has two 10 gb cables you remember last time uh, initially when when uh, we started adding the nick nick cards why we need these many nick cards now you will understand okay this kernel port is up and running this is okay this is something where you will log in and do the administration part 192 168 30 dot 51 52 53 whatever these three ips right you have three kernel ports on three host i'm not talking about those kernel ports okay and also you have vlan 10 20 30 40 distributed switch it is there okay i'm not talking about these two these two have a different cables four four cables total on each agree leave leave about all the all the four four cables on each host you'll have another set of two cables imagine those two cables are 10 gb cables so you can create one more internal standard switch is it possible to create a standard switch additional switch here possible right you can you can create a switch okay and attach those 10 gb cables as a inputs Okay, imagine all the 10 GB cables will come and sit in one switch, 10 GB switch. Agree? Possible? Imagine the connections are gone to one physical switch. Now, this, this, this and so on, 64 hosts are connected to a switch with 10 GB connectivity. And you will assign one kernel port, not, not the existing range okay not the existing range take a different range 192 168 okay 40 51 possible different yes. range okay now this is 52 this is 53 now enable enable v motion on top of these so that so that the drs traffic the 
DRS traffic, DRS will use vMotion. Okay, if this kernel port is enabled with management, only management traffic will run from that kernel port. If vMotion is enabled on this, on this kernel port, only vMotion traffic will run from that kernel port. How to do that? We'll see and then we'll proceed with the DRS testing. It will take some time. May extend. Come on. Okay, log in. storage open man Strange control port binding. Okay, let me do one thing. Story that up. reboot one of the host okay meanwhile that host gets rebooted let's see our network discussion what we are discussing on the switches this is your distributed switch right this is your distributed switch minimize this is your standard switch with one kernel port okay what is this another dis this is iSCSI. Okay, perfect. Now, look at the physical adapters. Do we have anything free? Nothing is free at the moment. Oh, look at 0, 1, 2, 3. How come? Only fork. is the issue I guess Clusters only four are adapters. What about the other kernel adapters, boss? You need a six, right? Six. Now we got yes. zero, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, we have six here. 
SKZ1, SKZ2 and V motion. Yes, let me delete the switch itself and have to delete switch H two fifty two. Okay, let me remove these ports. Yes. All the VMs. Wait. Okay. Just a moment. Got rebooted right. Just wait it after us. Some issue, man. Okay, well, let me fix the issue, then we can continue tomorrow. Delete few things here. So I'm just deleting the unwanted stuff. Okay, we'll discuss again. We'll reboot again and then see if it works. Because every time it is disappearing. Close this browser. Spare dot local. Some of the geo options will not properly work on here. Motion why it is not deleting? Okay. Fine. 
now go to distributor switch right vms from other network so this option is not coming up there on web motion All the VMs are using. Go to MSXI host switches. There is one more kernel port. What is there for V motion enabled? Right. Okay. Yes, let me delete. Let me delete this as well. Okay, done. Go back to the V working and delete this kernel port. It's gone now. Now go back to each host management control switches switch zero switch one okay and various okay physical adapters two two what about the other Whatever the other, perfect. So it's it has the proper configuration now. Okay, let me do one thing. Let me do one thing. I'll log in to the actual host and I'll try to reboot all the lab once, and then we'll see if it works. Okay, wait first. Take around 10 minutes again. Excellent. Okay, I just rebooted. I'll pause the recording. And once the system is up, we'll see everything is up and running. Then we will do the DRS lab tomorrow. Okay. Resume. Let me log into the Active Directory machine. Machine is now up and running. Anyway, vCenter will not come online that faster. We have to wait. See, vCenter is this will take some time. Okay, let me pause again. Once the vCenter is up, then we'll see. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's resume the lab. Still, the service is not properly up and running. But if you look at machines are up and running. If you look at data stores are popping up here. Close. Let's wait because it is still initializing the vCenter. We'll take some time. Once it is up, we'll configure the uh, we'll configure what. What we need to configure? Hmm? What we need to configure here? VMotion kernel port needs to be enabled and we'll make sure everything is up and running and we'll enable DRS. That's it. Okay. Rest of the testing, 
if possible do it do it today otherwise we will do it tomorrow mostly we will do it tomorrow only reason uh, I will power on the lamp before we start the session so we even start the bridge I will power on the lamp it takes around 10 minutes sometimes okay finally my V center is rebooted and up and running let's see Recording is going on. It's fine. Oh, see, the our entire lab is up and running. If you go to active, three data stores, four data stores, fourth one, let's let me remove this fourth one it's not required turn off this as well what is that fourth one 5gb only one yes 5gb is there now yes remove delete watch your disk that way no, we no longer required shorts Remove. Yeah. Fine. Now, if you refresh, see on the storage, it will disappear. Okay, it's gone, dead. Okay, that will go away in some time. Uh, it's not the big deal. Now. to cluster drs is turned off edit drs okay predictive drs virtual machine automation a lot of things are there and we have some additional options here and the power management is there and advanced options also there we'll see one by one simply okay okay drs is enabled Okay, how it is enabled? Let me go to each host, switches, distributed switch, minimize, standard switch, standard switch is this right, edit, these options are irritating like anything. Okay, now go to kernel ports. Kernel adapters. Okay, kernel adapter edit. See, V SAN. V motion is not enabled. I guess it should not work without that. Okay, let me remove V SAN as well. Second host management edit. Okay. So it will work because there is no dependency with the V motion. So then let me see other two kernel ports what they equip with. Nothing. Nothing. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Okay. Okay. 
so now now your drs is enabled it is showing as enabled now let me try where this vm is running this vm is running on local host of now this vm is running on lun 10 and which host in which host go to summary go to summary and look at 0 2 vm 2 is running on 0 2 vm 1 on host 1 how many vms are running on host 1 1 3 5 9 1 leave it it is running on local let me migrate 3 right click okay right click migrate See, show is showing the V motion interface is not configured. Understood? Even though the DRS is showing as enabled, it will not work. Okay, it is saying the vMotion interface is not configured or is misconfigured the, on the source 01 or on the destination 03. Okay, there will be a, some problem at somewhere. Neither vMotion configured on 01 nor it configured on 03. If both are configured, there is some misconfiguration or it is not able to find out the vMotion nick understood you cannot migrate live live virtual machine without enabling vMotion remember carefully understood yes okay okay for that for that even if you enable drs drs edit enable you enable it very simply okay that's it nothing will do it will not do anything because the vmotion itself is not running on the back end it will not migrate any vms from here and there it is simply sitting ideal even if you enable drs without enabling the vmotion on the back end it is it is of no use okay remember that point now how to enable the vmotion go to each host Okay, you need one kernel port boss. You need one kernel port. Go to kernel adapters. You have three kernel adapters. If you want, you can create a new kernel adapter. It is up to you. What I will do, I will use the same networking, same networking, but I will create a new kernel port. New kernel adapter. On the standard. Standard, standard. Select an existing switch switch zero so different options i don't know select an existing network why why it can to pop up the standard and distributed both hypothetic html code okay select the existing switch now i'll give v motion okay vlan id default v motion enable Use 192.168. Is there anything that I have used? 30.21. We haven't used, right? Anyway, another kernel port will be created. CMD ping 192.168. 30.221. It's ping. No. No, so other two hosts 221 will be used for vMotion. Okay, remember, and the second host add one more kernel adapter. Next, existing standard switch, switch zero. Fine, next, vMotion is the labeling name. Vmotion, vMotion only enable vMotion. So V motion will run via this IP 192, 168.30.222. Okay. Finish. This is on second host. Second host. 
third host and kernel port the existing standard switch next function enable 192.168.20.2.23 copy dot two twenty three finish done if you want you can ping the ips it's working 23 now try to migrate vm3 migrate from 1 to 3 compute resource only from host 1 to host 3 compatibility succeed last time you got the error this time it is success next on which vlan you want to put whatever the source vlan at the same destination vlan Schedule vMotion with high priority and schedule normal vMotion. vMotion receives higher CPU scheduling preference related to the normal priority. vMotion might compute more quickly. Okay. Finish. This is manual vMotion I'm doing. Okay. Now you look at relocating VM from host 01 to 03. Done. So VM3. Now running on 3. Let me assign IP. Okay. Let me assign the IP. What we will do? We will assign the IP to this virtual machine. Okay. On which VLAN it is sitting? Which VLAN? VLAN 40. Okay. Okay. We will assign IP and then we will do the remotion. Two one sixty eight forty dot two. Okay. See, it's 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 working, right? It is sending data to Google.com and ping 192.168.40.2 is the IP, right? Ping. So without any downtime, I should migrate this host, this sorry, this VM, this VM from host one three. Currently, it is running on three. If I go to host three, virtual machines. VM3 is running. This I want to migrate it onto VM1. Okay. For that, make sure on which VLAN it is working. VLAN 40. Okay. Now go to machine, migrate, compute resource only. Next, from where to where? 3 to 1. Compatibility checks. Okay. Green. So now properly put it on VLAN 40. If you place it in any other VLAN, it will die. So put it on VLAN 40 next. High priority, finish. Let's see. Timeout. One ping lost. That's it. Only one ping lost. Not, no application is not down. Then again started functioning. Even if you go inside the console, Inside the console, there is a fraction of delay, 13 milliseconds or 13 milliseconds, but there is no ping loss. It is com com keep on going. There is no ping loss. Okay. If you if you mistakenly by mistake by mistake if you put this VM into different VLAN, now it is running on one. Okay. Now I want to move this VM onto host two. Host two. Migrate again. This time I'll put it on the problem man see presenting graphics that is the reason why I prefer this how I will select the second right now let's see here
okay select the vm3 vm3 migrate vm3 migrate compute resource only next you see all the three hosts properly and to second host i'll put it on second host next i'll put it on different vlan by mistakenly i'll put it on vlan 10 just an, just an example okay next next finish gone you are gone your machine is gone you see they start getting the timeouts see destination is gone reason is reason is cancel machine is running on host 2 host 2 but in host 1 it is running on vlan 40 or port group 40 vlan port group name vlan 40 and on this on this host while migrating it went to vlan 10 port group web vlan 10 then web vlan works in 10 192 168 10.series but my ip is 40 dot series right you will lose everything Okay, how to fix this problem? You by by mistakenly you, you place this VM in a wrong VLAN. So how to do that? Edit settings. Edit settings. Okay, you are doing it manually. That is the reason why you will be able to select it. Okay, okay, done. Now start functioning. You did it manually and you identified the problem and you fixed it. That's okay, acceptable. But when you enable DRS, the same thing, same thing, same thing in the sense on the host two, four VMs are running. On host one, three VMs are running. On host three, only two VMs are running. It is less utilized, it is overutilized, it is normal utilized. Okay, so host two is overutilized. What DRS will do? okay this host is eating a lot and this host is sitting relaxedly let's do one thing we'll migrate one machine from here to here from host 2 to host 3 it will automatically migrate it using vmotion once it is migrated if you imagine by mistake it went on the wrong port group okay and you will lose the production connectivity the virtual machine will be up and running however customer will complain that i am unable to access the vm because when the system is migrating vm from one network to another so one host to another host it by mistakenly put on put it on wrong vlan or wrong port group that is, which shouldn't happen right for that for that what is the what is the prerequisite we discussed these are few prerequisites that definitely should satisfy along with that Along with that, vMotion must be enabled, then only DRS will work. Okay, now your lab is enabled with DRS and enabled with vMotion kernel ports, and all the HF features are already enabled. So everything is properly configured, and we fix that uh, switch configurations and mismatches and all. Okay, now your lab is perfect. So what we can do, we can do the DRS test. Okay, but we will do that tomorrow okay we are running out of time so what we will do is we will do we will do the drs testing tomorrow and day after tomorrow affinity anti affinity rules and and some of the over management discussions that we will do it day after tomorrow saturday sunday two long sessions one is drs test another one is affinity anti affinity rules okay fine any questions Clear or any confusion? Okay, let me stop here.